So, today I'm going to make a cover. So I've decided I'm going to make a cover to go up over, over that to protect all the wiring and the coils and everything else from the exhaust that's running down the side like that. So you can see how close everything is. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that and uh, going to make a template out of this piece of card. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I've never seen this done before, but yeah, never seen this project done before, to be honest. So what, what do you guys think? I've uh, made that side up now. It's looking a lot tidier. Um, I've got to do the other side yet, but obviously this this is just film on here, so that'll come off. It's fairly sturdy. Heat shields everything. It's got a bit of gap underneath everything, so there's a bit of air to go around everything, and the exhaust is not touching, which is always nice. So today, I'm working on a manifold. Uh, yeah, I've decided to use an idle air control. I made this nice little bracket up, which was a lot of fun. It took me fucking hours, but I got there eventually. Also made this little sleeve up to fit the um, idle air in. So there's the, the idle air control. That fits in that hole there. So that squeezes into there. It's just O-rings in there. Does a good job at sealing. Uh, now I've got to drill a hole, put that in there, uh, weld it on, and then weld this bracket up there. So it'll be nice and hidden, and uh, it should work fine. So I'll let you know when that's done. But I've also done quite a bit more in bits and pieces. But it's, uh, it's not too much noticeable stuff, but most of the wiring is complete now. Uh, I've just got to run a, uh, another wire to the... Um, what's it? That gadget. Uh, EGT conditioner. Uh, and then... I've got to work out a few other little bits and pieces, but I've got all the sparks, all the injectors working, um, all the gauges working, everything's lighting up. Um, oh yeah, boost controllers there in there as well. So, either side. Um, one there, one there. Oh, gas bottle over there. <laughs> so they, they did good as well. Um, what else have I done? Finished off tidying up the wiring at the back here, added another fuse box and whatnot. I gotta wrap all this loom yet, but yeah, and uh, stuff. Oh yeah, and all fuel lines are done now as well. So that's another thing. So I've decided to put all the inlets there. If you can see it, just there. And they're all coming out. Through there as a vacuum and the uh, two fuel lines, one return, one uh, feed. Woo! Fits! So, yeah, nice sleep. Someone has to cut a hole in the manifold. Yeah, fits lovely. Just gotta weld that up and then weld the bracket on. It's a bit tweaking, fits. I uh, just had to flatten out the edge there a little bit, that's all because uh, it was a bit high. But other than that, it fits now. And uh, yeah. So, put it in place. Don't mind the world's uh, shocking. Um, but they're functional. So yeah, all fits. It's not moving anywhere. So yeah, you can throw that on there now and uh, it should be all right. So it just sticks in the middle there, so it should work fine. Yeah. So I'm putting a little filter on the end of here anyway, so because uh, it don't need to come from intake really, because it's reading off uh, map pressure on the uh, ECU. All right. So we're just about there now with all the wiring. We've uh, so we've got all our gauges up and running. Um, I've got. 
everything working finally. So I've got a uh, rear wheel speed sensor, uh, which was a pain in the ass. Um, I've got both boost controllers working. Uh, I've got the idle air control valve working, which is situated under there. Um, all the ignition uh, and the injectors are all firing. So now we've just got to wrap it all up and uh, then it should all be sorted on the engine management side of wiring. Um, oh yeah, i got to sort out the uh, temperature sensors yet for the exhaust gas temp, but other than that, everything else works. Okay, battery connected. Fucking clock works. Come on. Is it going to pop? I can see smoke. Probably not good. Yeah, it's old. It's not been used in years. There you go. Cigarette lit by the Justy. Here we go, we've um, got all most of the lumen now. So quite a lot has changed since I've done a little video. I've done all the back in there, it's all tidied all around, apart from the rest of the crap. Um, but yeah, the loom's going all the way there. Uh, the lighting loom comes all the way down as well. Comes up here, mind the wiring, yes, it's shit at the moment, but trust me, it works. It just needs tidying up. I've done the front loom as well. I've took one of the turbos out so I can get the loom down there. Uh, yeah. And it all works on a key. So there's a clock come up. Or gauges. It's got the uh, handbrake light works. Got hazards. Ah, it's just, yeah, that's fine. Indicators are working. I see wiper motor. Wipers. Headlights. High beam. So yeah, we've uh, we've cracked on with it. So if you like seeing what you're seeing. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, as usual. Um, yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there. Well, we're getting there quite quickly at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're uh, doing bits and pieces still. Cool. See you next time.